After the war, the Vaughan returned to Addison Road and it became a grammar school. In 1948, Dr Vance retired. The next headmaster was a very popular RE teacher, Monsignor Reginald Butcher. When he took over, Monsignor Butcher had a lot to deal with. There was dry rot and the school itself was falling down. The outer wall of Addison Hall was at risk of collapse and the building was declared a dangerous structure. Steel supports were put in the walls to stop the school from crumbling. Father Butcher organised displays of art and literature and the school choir was founded at this time. But Father Butcher was only headmaster for four years. We were all rather upset when he informed us he was going to have to leave the school. I think we hoped it was carrying on rather longer because he was a rather good headmaster. The next chapter in the school's history was one of great expansion led by Father Richard Kenefec. A somewhat distant and stern figure, but tough as they come. Well, he put the wind up me, really. Father Kenefec was headmaster for 24 years throughout the 1950s, 60s and 70s. At that particular period is a massive period of social change. We were at the school at a time when teenagers were being invented. It was a profound change of, of social tastes, attitudes. We were probably more rebellious um, than any uh, previous generation. The school wanted you to look presentable, we wanted to look cool. And under his guidance, the school navigated that change. Before becoming headmaster, Father Kenefec had been in charge of games and he was a very keen sportsman. He used to do putting practice in his office. There were many sporting successes during these years, the greatest of which came in 1974 when the first 11 football team were crowned champions of Middlesex. By the early 60s, the school had outgrown Addison Hall. It was rather cramped. That tiny playground was all there was. And it really was quite extraordinary how three or four games of football just overlapped each other. Eventually, in 1963, the new building opened. It appears that Father Kenefic's sporting ambitions affected the design. The architect had not intended the headmaster to have an L-shaped office, but he got one. So he had a nice green to play on. As well as the potting green, the new building offered modern facilities, more space, and finally, a proper playground. <laughs>